Hey, so this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to bake the animation from deformers in Cinema 4D. Um, and then we're actually going to look at how we can also export that out as an FBX file that you could potentially bring into um, Unreal Engine or Unity or something like that. So the way this works is we need to take the cube itself that we've got this animation on. You can see the animation here. I'm just using a spline wrap, but you could bake the animation from any deformer. It could be a bend deformer or anything else inside the deformer drawer into point level animation. Um, and then you'll be able to export that out as an FBX file. So we're taking this deformation animation here and then we'll be turning that into an FBX. So to do that, the first important thing is you have to make sure that you're not using any parametric objects. So for example, here I've got a cube that I have my spline wrap deformer on. So the first thing I need to do is make this cube editable in order for the point level animation to work. If you do not make it editable, the point level animation can't be created. Those keyframes can't be created for all of the states of this deformed object here. So we'll right click on our cube and we'll go to make editable. The shortcut is C with that cube selected. You can see now it's an editable piece of geometry with our spline wrap inside. And then to bake it, we need to go into our F curve editor. So we'll go to window, timeline, F curve. Shortcut is Shift Alt F3. And in this window by default, it may show whatever animated objects there are in the scene, but we actually want this cube itself, not the spline wrap. So we'll just drag this cube into our timeline F curve down here. And when we let go, we'll have our cube present in the timeline F curve. At this point, we can actually do the baking. So with that cube selected in the F curve editor, we can go to functions, bake objects. And in this little dialog box, we need to make sure that clean tracks is on. And the only thing we really need to worry about here, because we're doing the only animation present here isn't on any of these other properties. It's not on position, scale or rotation. We're actually baking the deformation animation that was done by the spline wrap into point level animation. Um, on this, on what was previously a cube and is now an editable piece of geometry. So we'll uncheck these other boxes. I usually just leave bake expressions on and press OK. And you can see it has had a bit of a, an effect on the animation here. Um, you'll see that if I scrub through my timeline, it looks a bit odd. And the reason for that is it's actually doubling the deformation of the spline wrap on this object. So we now have the spline wrap deformation animation on it, plus the spline wrap deformation that has been doubled on top of that by baking that spline wrap deformation into point level animation on this object. So we can actually delete the spline wrap now and we don't need the spline either. You can see if I go into my cube, it has a point level animation um, parameter there, which you can't actually see in the F curve. So we can go to our dope sheet view here and you can see it's now created a keyframe on every one of these um, uh, points along the timeline here. And we have now replaced the need for having that spline wrap deformer inside of our cube. And now if I scrub through my timeline, you can see I've now baked that animation into the geometry of this little plank here. And you can see on the cube, there's now no spline wrap on here. There are no tags other than, you know, the texture, the UV tag and the Fong tag, which we don't need to worry about. And now we can actually export this point level animation or this baked animated object here into an FBX file. So to do that, we just go to file. And we obviously need to make sure that our object here has been selected. So click on it and then go to File, Export Selected Objects As, and we can choose FBX or any other um, file format that we prefer. But I'm just gonna choose FBX here. And then in your FBX export settings, you just wanna go down to Animation here, and there'll be this dropdown, and you wanna make sure that you have Bake All Frames checked. Maybe turn on PLA to Vertex Cache as well. 
and press OK. And then choose where you want to save it. I'm going to save it over this one from before, splinewrappedplanked.fbx. And I'll press save. Okay, so doing this method um, and exporting out to an FBX is probably not the direction I would usually want to go um, with something like this though. Um, when you export an FBX, you can't actually embed point level animation into the FBX file itself. So when you check that box um, for PLA animation, it's going to create a little folder with the PLA animation embedded in an MC file. And you'll need to probably use a third party plugin to bring in an FBX in combination with the MC file so that you have that point level animation applied to your 3D model. What I would in instead recommend is to rather export out an Alembic file instead. So instead, go to your cube, go to file, export selected, and choose an ABC file, an Alembic file, um, and rather export this, um, and press OK. And you'll see that if we open up these files, so if I drag just like this FBX file, even back into Cinema 4D, so if I drag that, let's maybe make a new file here, and then I drag this FBX file into Cinema 4D, and I press OK. You'll see that there's no animation here, and you have to then attach the um, attach that animation to this scene, which is kind of a waste of time. Um, so what I would recommend rather doing is just to um, create an Olympic file, an ABC file, and if you drag that into a new scene and hit OK, you'll see that the animation is already embedded into that Olympic file. Um, and you don't have to worry about attaching the animation to that file that you exported out as an FBX. Um, it's just a lot easier. And there you have it. That's how to bake animation using deformers in Cinema 4D and how to export out to an FBX file that you can then import into another piece of software.